the greatest shared meal that you can have is uh, with a loved one, you know? And I have here Claudine, my daughter, and Shori, my granddaughter. <laughs> and it's terrific we're cooking meat today, and every cooking technique can be used for cooking meat, grilling, broiling, sauteing, stewing. Anyway, I like to grill meat, but if I cannot, the broiler works quite well, and that's how I did this one. Do you want to taste it? Un petit bout comme ça? Mm. Celui-là? Okay. Attends, je vais te le couper. Okay. What do you think? It's good. Can I taste it's it good. too? Mmm. Mmm. Mm. This is really good. Here is how I did it. I like to buy a boneless leg of lamb. I like to separate the different muscles and trim off most of the fat. When you start opening up, you can see that there are different muscles. The larger piece of meat is the top round. You can do steak with that. Then there is the top knuckle, probably the most tender for a roast. Then I have the top sirloin here, maybe the most tender part of the whole thing, but it's very small, it makes a large steak with it. Now you have the bottom round here, which is divided into what is called the flat, and the other piece, which look like a filet, which is actually the eye round. There is a lot of connective tissue that can be trimmed and used for stew. Then even that small piece at the end of the bottom round. Now let's recap. This is the filet, the top sirloin, the top knuckle, the top round, and finally the bottom round divided between the flat and the eye round. But I'm going to use the top sirloin I have here and the top knuckle. I will create a marinade to put it in. And I use some peeled ginger here. I smash it and put it into the food processor. Smash a couple of cloves of garlic and about half of a jalapeno pepper that I take the seed out. Some roughly cut mint leaf. A bit of apricot jam will give me sweetness. A bit of soy sauce will give me some saltiness. A dash of water. Process the whole thing until it's liquefied, and I pour that marinade over the lamb right into a plastic bag. I can seal it, and it should be marinated for at least two hours, but it can stay overnight. When you're ready to cook it, remove the meat from the bat, and you can, of course, do it in your grill outside or in a skillet grill on pan on top of the stove, but you can also do it under the broiler. So for that, I place into a skillet and drizzle over some of the marinade, and then I will place it under the broiler, not too close, about four or five inch, because it has to cook uh, 14 minutes, about half on one side, half on the other side. And when the meat is cooked, it should rest for at least five minutes, five to 10 minutes. And then now it's ready to cut it into thin slice, beautifully pink, and serve it with its own juice and a garnish of fresh mint for a dish that my family loves.